banning travel from Europe to the U.S. for the next 30 days. That is, everyday life in this country is changing in ways none of us could have imagined. So let's bring in now CNN senior commentator John Kasich, the former governor of Ohio. John, thank you so much. Listen, President Trump announced that he was suspending travel from Europe to the U.S. CNN then got clarification that it was about most foreign nationals, not U.S. residents. The president misrepresented the travel ban during his primetime address, and we're, we're getting all of these mixed messages. So give me your thoughts. Well, I, look, I, I watched the address tonight, uh, and I thought it was fine. I thought he did, he did fine. And, he, you know, what I, I saw tonight is what I anticipated before he delivered the address. Mr. President, you've got to be serious. You've got to warn the country. We have to move forward. And, and just be stick to the script and, and read what's on there. And uh, that's exactly what he did. And, you know, I, I know that recently, and look, I was on with you, I don't know, a week or so ago, and, and I was sharply critical. Then I was on again, and I said, I think they're, they're getting their sea legs, they're doing better. I'm glad he did the address tonight, and I, I think that was important. But I also believed, Don, that what is really going to, where the action really is going to happen in many respects in our country is going to be at the states. And it's going to be up to governors to really is, look, I, I was on earlier today. I've had conversations about this. What they have to decide is they're going to be serious about everything. And sometimes you have to overreact. It's almost like a hurricane. People say, well, why did they warn so much? Well, you know, sometimes it's better to do more than to do less. And so to me, the cooperation from the federal government, it gets to the states and governors have to make choices and they cannot make choices based on making people happy or political considerations. Well, listen, the and, governors uh, can't, John, the governors can't make choices. They can't, if there are no test kits. If the test kits that the, the federal government has promised aren't out there, then those governors can't make choices. And you said that, listen, the president, you said the president should stick to the script. I don't know if he stuck to the script or not, but the, whatever script he read I, I, was wrong because they've had to clarify it several times. And I, I just got to say, if the president came I, out to uh, calm okay. people's fears... He didn't do a good job of it because they've had to come back and clarify it several times. And th if this has been going on long he, enough I, for them to get it okay. straight. We need straight, accurate you know information what, from this president yeah. and this administration, and we're not yeah. getting it. And I don't understand why you are tiptoeing around it. He came out, gave an address that, oh, that usually you know that happens very rarely, and he doesn't get it right? I'm going to tell you, first of all, he read it. And somebody that wrote this, look, I don't want to get into that. He, what was well, on I know. Today That's why you're here. You're talking he about he, the president's can I, can address. Can I finish now? No, no, let no, me no, talk. no, 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 you let can't, John. John, because we're here to talk oh, about I the president's talk. Wait, we're here. I don't want you to I don't want you to go on and deflect and talk about something else. Because we're here to talk about the president's address. And and you said that someone else wrote it. He's the president. Even if someone Look, else he, wrote it, it should be. I know right. he did. And he has to be Don, Don. He put, he put this thing out because there was some confusion out there, okay? This now is there's a more very confusion, John. And what I, look, look, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to say to you, Don, we got to move down the road. Looking back doesn't get things fixed. We're not, not looking not back. Ask, the president's why address, why the president's why address why was tonight. That is the newest I, I information for this, tonight will, is the I think president's address. I think it was fine. That's what I think. You, you think, think the wrong, you think me. inaccurate information that you have to come back right and clarify tone. two or three times, you think that's fine? I, I, look, I thought he did fine. That's what I thought. I thought he had the right tone, and he no longer played around with, we're going to blame Democrats, or we're, forget this stuff. He, he's, I hope he's trying to move forward because he understands the seriousness of this situation. Now, the fact that they clarify, it isn't unusual in a speech for somebody to, to clarify something, okay? But I don't think that the tone he showed tonight takes away from some clarification. I think he set a serious tone. That's what I wanted out of him for a long time, and I think we got it. John. That's what I think. And I, I think can be serious and yes. sit here and tell you 4 plus 4 equals 85. I am serious. That doesn't mean that I'm right. The information he gave was not right. You have to come back and clarify several times information that you gave. Listen, 
I tried to cut him a break at the top of you the mean, show. You mean, like, who's going to get back into the country? You mean, that, what, what, what is it that the clarification that you thought was so terrible? Tell me what you thought was so I didn't say so I bad. thought it was terrible. I'm telling you that we're in the middle of, of a pandemic speech. right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic. And I every know. time this president comes out, he gives inaccurate information. So I don't understand why he would even come out and do it at all if he is going to confuse the American people even more. You don't understand that? You're a governor. I, I'm surprised that you don't understand that. If no, you're not the, going to help, no, no, Don, if you're I not going to be accurate, no, I, why I do, do it? I do understand it. Look, I'm just trying to tell you that I thought his tone tonight was good. So he had to clarify something, okay? 98% of what he did was good. And what we wanted was a seriousness out of the president to tell people that things are not good and they're probably going to get worse. And I'm not saying this is going to disappear or go away. This is very serious stuff. Now, if you got to clarify, are you still going to let products come into the country? I, okay, I wish it, it didn't have to do it, but it doesn't take away from what I thought was the seriousness of, of the matter. Because we all have to understand how serious it is. And I'm not deflecting or running away. What I am telling you is there is so much time spent on what we haven't done, and we can go back and do that. And I'm glad to come on here and talk about what we didn't do. But what I want to talk about now is what are we going to do in the Okay, John, say that. I'll let you talk about that on the other. Respirators. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought we had I'll another block. Back. Sorry, I'll let you finish. Uh, I thought we had another block. Sorry. No, no, I, I, so I, I go understand. ahead. Well, tell me. Well, tell I me what, you, what you're saying. Tell me. I thought we had another block. But listen. So tell me then what you. All I'm saying is, John, is that I think I've made my case here. If the president is going to come out yes, and he's going to confuse I, I, people more, then mind. don't say anything. I, I, I don't think at the end that people walked away saying, I'm confused because they had to put out some kind of a correction. I think people heard what he said tonight, and they went, you know, this is really serious. But I must also tell you, Don, and I'm not deflecting, that governors today are also giving a message to people where they live with schools and with you know universities and basketball games and everything else it should fit together it's got to be federal state and local together that's kind of the way i see it but okay look sometimes we agree sometimes we I don't agree with but that, I, John, but I, here's I still what love I, you even look, when you don't agree I, with me I, I, I understand that here's what i got can i travel can i not that's what people are asking me because the president i don't know from the president can i travel or not i understand are goods going to be able to come in from europe are they not Every producer was running around here scrambling and saying, did the president say, we need to know, we can't report it, we don't know what to report. The president said this, we don't know. That is serious business because guess what? We don't know what the president said. We had to clarify it. And guess what? The White House did give us, give, give us a clarification eventually, but the president originally, no one knew was got, that. That has implications for the futures, here's, the Dow here's, futures. Here's what I kind of know. Look, okay, here's what I kind of know. What I do know is... He shouldn't be going to Europe unless it's an emergency. And he made it clear that it's going to be much more difficult to get back in here, that he's going to watch everybody that's coming. The fact that he didn't say, okay, if you're an American, you can get back in. I watched the thing. I was talking to the guy in my office, and I said, look, here's, here's what I heard him say, that if you're an American, you can come back in, but you're going to have to go through something in order to get back in. That's what I heard. Now, look, I, I understand what you're saying about in terms of goods, shipping goods in. Now, who's that stirred up? He said that because he's worried about the reaction with the stock market. That's why he talked about trade. And, okay, so they didn't get it right. They came out, they clarified it. Is it settled down? I think it is. I was worried he was going to continue to say this is not a serious problem. I don't think that's what I heard out of him tonight. But, look, I listen to certain things. You listen to certain things. That's my conclusion. Maybe we just have to <laughs> Thank disagree you, John. every once I in a while. I appreciate it. We'll be back. All right, Don Lemon. Bye. Thank you. Do you recall?